My dad doesn't pay much attention to anything when he's reading his newspaper. My little sister and I played in the garden. My sister played with her Bobby dolls, and I played at putting mud down my sister's neck. <laughs> my friend Nathan came over to my house. He had a glass bowl with him. There was something in the glass bowl. I got two goldfish. Aren't they neat? They were pretty neat. I'll swap you them. What for? Well, I offered him my toy cars and my baseball cards and my puppet with tangled swings and my transformer robots and even Clowny, my clown that I sleep with. But all he said was, I don't want your toy cards, your baseball cards, your puppet with tangled strings, your transformer robots, or even that dumb old clown. So I thought for a bit. Some people have great ideas maybe once or twice in their life. And then they discover fire or electricity or outer space or something. I mean, the kind of brilliant ideas that change the whole world. Some people never have them at all. I get them two or three times a week. <laughs> I'll swap you my dad. Okay. He gave me the goldfish and took my dad away with him. I watched the goldfish for a while. You'll get into big trouble and mommy get calm, said my little sister. When my mother got home, I asked her if we could buy some goldfish food. If we have to, dear, where is your father? Uh, <laughs> come and come and look at my goldfish. Aren't they pretty? Very pretty, dear. Now where where is he? <laughs> uh, don't don't pay attention to her. Come and look at my goldfish. But my mother went hide my sister and took the sock out of her mouth. <laughs> Do you know where your father is? He is talking to his friend Nathan for two goldfish. Right, said my mother. You two go over to Nathan this minute, and don't you come back without your father. So we went over to Nathan's house. I'm out of the door. Nathan came out to talk to us. Here are your goldfish. Now can I have my dad back, please? Well, yes and no. We went upstairs to Nathan's bedroom. Nathan had a gold willow mask. I saw this gorilla mask with Blinky. Nathan? What did you do? Swap to Blinky so he would give you his gorilla mask? If you let go of me, I will tell you. I will. I swapped him to your dad. He gave me the gorilla mask and told me how to get to Blinky's. It was going to be a long walk. <laughs> Blinky had a very big house. I went up to the front and rang the bell. The butler came out to talk to us. Can we speak to Blinky? Um, whom shall I say is called? Me. Blinky came down the big stairs. He looked very pleased to see the gorilla mask. He made the butler give us ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> now, I said when I finished my ginger beer, Where's my dad? Oh, 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 yeah, bro. And he went away again, around the side of the house. This is Galveston, he said when he returned. Galveston was a fat white rabbit with one black ear. Galveston who I swapped him father for. He gave me mm, Galveston and a map he drew of how to get to Patty's house. I've never walked so far in my whole life. While we walk, Galveston wept, sat in my arms, and made his nose go waffly. My sister tried to make her nose go as waffly as Galveston's, but she couldn't do it. I knocked on the door of Patty's house. Galveston! Helen! shouted Patty. Galveston! shouted Patty's mother. Galveston! <laughs> shouted the Queen of Melanesia. Who was that on visit? <laughs> Next to the wabbit hutch was a little one with a chicken wire all around it. My dad sat on the glass in the chicken wire one, reading his newspaper and eating a carrot. I opened the gate with chicken wire and my dad clawed out on his hands and knees. He can, he can keep the carrot. Thanks for bringing back Galveston. No problem. See ya. You like her, said my little sister. I can tell. I'm going to tell everyone at school. Last week, my little sister told everyone at school I was a space alien pretending to be me. If you do, I told her, I'll tell everyone that you're secretly fat. 
<laughs> when we got home, my mother said things like, just look at the state of it, and made him go and have a bath. And while my father was in the bath, my mother told me off. And when she finished telling me off, she made me promise, cross my heart, that I would never, ever swap my dad for anything, ever, ever again. And I promised. So I won't. But I never promised anything about my little sister. <laughs>